In this case, the antibiotics come in a bag. The bag is connected to a pump that automatically injects antibiotics into your blood at specific times. At other times, a very small amount of antibiotics continues to be administered to prevent your catheter from becoming blocked. You must wear the pump 24 hours a day. The bags of antibiotics must be stored in the refrigerator. We recommend placing them in an airtight container to avoid contamination with food. The bag of antibiotics must be removed from the refrigerator at least one hour before the scheduled time to change the bag so the solution reaches room temperature. Your antibiotics must be administered at regular intervals. It's very important to follow the schedule as planned to ensure the treatment will be effective. Once you've cleaned the work surface with soap and water, as explained in the capsule on preparing for administering the antibiotics, gather your supplies. You'll need one bag of antibiotics, a CAD Legacy Plus pump, two alcohol swabs, tape, a belt bag. Before administering the antibiotics, always check the label carefully to ensure it's correctly identified with your name and the name of the medication. Also check the expiry date. Your medication must not be outdated. Next, carefully inspect the antibiotic bag. It must not contain particles or air bubbles. If there are, contact your community pharmacy. The bag must be changed before or after the specific times your doctor has set for administering the antibiotics. The nurse will tell you when the best time to change the bag is. When you're ready to change the bag and you've washed your hands using the technique explained in the preparation capsule, sit down comfortably near the clean work surface and stretch out your arm. Stop the pump by pressing and holding the Arrêt Marche button. Three dashes will appear on the screen. Open an alcohol swab package. Hold the side of the bag with the blue cap between your thumb and index finger. Remove the blue cap. Set down the bag, making sure that the tip is pointing upwards Place the alcohol swab on the bag under the tip so the tip doesn't get contaminated from touching the bag. In case of contamination, clean the tip with the alcohol swab and let dry 30 seconds. With your dominant hand, hold the tubing from the empty antibiotic bag. Using your other hand, firmly grasp the empty bag. Remove the tubing from the empty bag by pulling upwards without touching the connecting opening of the tubing. Take the new bag. Insert the spike to the reference mark, keeping the bag and the connecting opening straight so as to not damage the bag. Press Suivant to display the Volume Residuel screen. Press the pump's Entrée Ras button to set the residual volume at its initial value. Start the pump by pressing Arrêt Marche. Three dashes will appear on the screen. Place the bag of antibiotics in the belt bag and adjust it to your waist. To ensure the pump operates properly, it's important to wash it with a damp cloth and change the batteries every week or when the screen reads pile faible or déchargé. Here's how to change the batteries. Stop the pump by pressing on the Arrêt Marche button. Three dashes will appear on the screen. Press the arrow button on the back of the pump and slide the battery door open. Remove the old batteries. Insert new AA alkaline batteries. 
The pump will beep when the batteries are inserted correctly. Slide the battery compartment door back in place. Start the pump by pressing on Arrêt Marche. Three dashes will appear on the screen. When putting on a coat, jacket, or sweater, first slip the pump and tubing through the sleeve of the arm with a catheter. When removing the item of clothing, finish with the sleeve of the arm with the catheter. The pump is equipped with several alarms to alert you of a situation needing attention. Before correcting the problem, always press the Arrêt Alarm button first. Those were the steps you must follow for the administration of your antibiotics. Check the video capsule on what to do in case of complication.